when you're related to someone automatically you are family there's some people that they're not related to you but in their heart of hearts they're already your family today we're going to be talking about families and the category of family you fall into if you're interested in this topic then you want to keep watching let's get right into it channel i go by the name ali chia chia it's long so i actually do that okay if you're a new subscriber you know what to do hit the subscribe button right now as i'm talking to you if you are an existing subscriber you know you have been here with me you know the struggle i just want to thank you guys so much for you know being part of this family and being part of this craziness that goes on right here in my home well today we're going to talk about family and various types of family and the one that you the one that you fall into so we we'll start with the first family you know the one the regular family the one that is related to my blood that one that is a must is a must you have no choice but to love them you have no choice but to be supportive you have no choice but to just be there do you feel sometimes that you just need to like you are just angry you don't want to punch you don't want to scratch somebody you don't want to tell your mom shut up that kind of feeling but because it's family you can't just do it like there's just some things that you can't really do like you're like what is going on why are people trying to frustrate me in this house but then you look at it and like if not because you are family oh my god the thing i would have done to you yeah I don't think you're going to I don't think you're going to like it. But that's the one that's that's the family that's what we call the one that you're related by blood that came out of your you know all of you at the same time came out of your mother's womb. That one is related by blood. The family you grew up in can determine your future. It can determine things that you're going to be, things that you're going to do in life, how you perceive people, how you perceive life, how you perceive things that happen in your life. So if things do not go well in the in your upbringing or if things are not right in your family i don't think you can be able to relate to other people the way the regular family should be so that's just me giving you my um two coins about being a family because i know there are some families that are broken and for real for real some families are legit broken like you don't want to know about it they're just not put together but you when you see them outside you're wondering you know why are they so put together but when you enter the family when you enter it you just be wondering what's going on in this family there are different types of families different types of families you don't even want to even start i'm not even talking about the polygamous family or the nuclear or the what no or the compound no i'm talking about categories of people that call themselves family but they only you know need you for in fact let me even get into this second one is social media family like me now you know i have a social media family i have eight thousand followers and they're my family but it's not even one of them that i know but i consider them as family because they see what i do they like what i do they follow me they they're always there for me you know they're always liking they're always commenting they're always dropping a comment they're always doing something nice they're always giving me back to back you know they're always there they're always there to entertain me they're always there to be entertained by me as well so that's my social media family and i don't relate with most of them which i'm about to start doing and i hope that you know in the long run i relate with them so do you relate to your social media family do you now that you know what social media family is do you relate with them do you talk to them you need to put people in the loop when you're doing things so that you don't be looking lost but they don't be looking lost that's why sometimes you see that even with i notice that sometimes how can you have a thousand followers you know even they will not be liking your pictures it's because they don't know what you do and your family or no doubt i mean strangers that come together as one but are you keeping them in the loop? Are you telling them what's going on with you? Are you putting them around what's happening in your life? I don't mean tell them the exact cocoa, but I mean put them in, let them see what's going on, let them see around so let them ah, that my girl, when you need this kind of thing, now nah, she be the go to girl. That kind of thing. That's what I mean by the social media family. Alright, so this category of family that you probably fall into is the gossip family. Those ones, the only time they need you, the only time they see you as family is when they want to gossip. Ha! Ah, when they jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Felix is my family. 
don't get me wrong felix is you're saying this this is for you it's my family but felix is my gossip family when i need to say something when i need to boil when i need to express myself felix is my go-to man i need him he's my gossip family i'm always there to you know ginger this worker he's always there to tell me what's not who did who didn't who if see there's no i don't think there's any just right and like in some some aspects i can pass felix he can't yeah you know when you're when you are leaving the earth, you have to say goodbye to Jesus. Or you have to you, you have to pass through Jesus. They walk hand in hand. You, you no gist, no gist can pass without Felix Yen. Except the gist is not important. And if your gist does not pass through Felix, then you need to ask yourself, this by gist, will it go far? You understand? Will it be viral? That kind of thing. So yeah, but you're not close to Felix. You can't I don't think you can ever hear anything from him. So I'm privileged to be in that that space with you. So if he's my gossip family, I need he's my gossip family, is my regular family, my social media family, my gossip family is is together. Do you understand? So that's that's what it is. Alright, so the next one is the gang family. <laughs> This gang family, these ones are the ones that dress up together and go out to the mall and you know just relax. They just want to be relaxed and be taken care of. Those are the kind of family like anytime you're going out, you know, like, okay, this is my gang family. I have a gang family. My my friend, if I'm ha ha, baby girl, if you can see this, this is for you. She's my gang family. If I want to go out, I take her along with me. If I'm, she's not going, I'm not going. And some people that you are just comfortable with that when you're going out, you need them to follow you. Like if they don't follow you, then that's they need to do some crazy things will not be there you just be wondering what's really going on with me you need them you need them in this category they are your gang family you really need them so you, you they're like you know it's like you going out with your mom you heard that right silence like you going out with your mom so you you need to have a gang family sometimes your family members are not even your gang family you need to tell us that when you go out you feel some sort of importance you know yeah you are happy, you are jovial, you want to do things. Why are you going as your mom? Are you going to church? So no, you need that kind of gang family. Uh, next one is your hangout family. Ah, it's almost like the same thing as gang family now. You know, you put together, it's, it's the same thing. So, okay, so the next one is support family. Ah, that one, you need it in your life. There's some people that constantly support whatever you do. Let me just tell you the truth. Even if you what you are doing is rubbish, I won't lie. Like there's some people that just support you. Like they just support you. They feel like if they tell you that this thing is wrong, then you can die. And they don't want you to die. So that's why sometimes I used to ask, are you people supporting me because you want to support me? Because I'm forced to support my people to support me. My friends or my everybody on my contact with are my friend. If I have my number, if you have my number in you're my friend. So you must support me. It's not a must though at this point, but you should support me. It's a must. You should support me. Why why would you support me? Are you okay? Are you, are you okay? What if share me? Ah, uh, what's this? You must support me. So I have my support family. I have my support now. Nah. Mm, my people. They are there. So those kind of people, you need them in your life. Your support family. They are, they are always the ones that are, you know, cheering you. Even when you are carrying zero, zero by zero plank up on that, they are always the ones cheering you. They're like, ah, oh my God. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're always there for you. They're always there to just push you and make you feel comfortable, make you feel like what you're doing is great. Like, those are the kind of people you actually need. You see the related family, the um, social media family, the support family, they work hand in hand. You need those kind of people. Sometimes in your social media family, or your support family, you need those kind of people. Your channel has not dropped finished. They already said, go subscribe. Pew. Tinuke is my support family. Mm. How can I do this episode without? Big shout out to you though. Big shout out to you. Tinuke is my support family. Tinuke, hey, hey. Tinuke can stay offline for a month. When she comes online, she's like doing everything in her power to make sure she catches up with everything you've been doing if you're her guy. So she's that kind of support family. She and George, they're always like the support family. They will do everything in their power to support you, to catch up with what you've done. So if they've been offline for a year, they will go back to since when they went offline and, you know, catch up with everything, comment on every single post, like, subscribe, do all this kind of things. So those are the kind of support family you need so tunike is my number one support family tunike and george those people hey they will dm me and be like oh i'm sorry that i haven't subscribed and i'm like hey don't i mean you subscribed you watch if you haven't seen one episode it's not really a big deal which you have to see sha but you know they just make you feel very loved so those are the kind of people that you need you know you need support family or oh, the next one is 
Boropo's family. <laughs> All those ones that the only time they know you, the only time they need you is when they want to borrow something. If you don't, if they don't, if you, in fact, if you don't, if they don't need anything from you, you can't see their break lights. Like they are dead. It's like you are dead to them. They are dead, you are dead. We are all dead until you are needed. So it's very crazy. Did you feel that rhyme? Oh my god. Eh? You are all dead until you are needed. <laughs> Sorry. So it's like, you're, you're like, what is going on? It's like, what is really happening? So it's very crazy. All those people that the only time they need you is and they, they, they want to see is when they want to borrow something. And they come in very different ways. They can come and be like, Hey baby, I've missed you. Ah, uh, what's up? What have you been doing? Ah, uh, and that your skirt. Are you wearing it anytime soon? Borrow me. That your hair. Borrow me. I'm going for some some days. I'll return it back. And after that, they will not reach out to you. And even when you're when you collect your clothes back, or your team is you to still buy your credit and call and say hi. The thing that you borrow. Where is it? Those kind of family, they are the proposed, like, they are the proposed family. The only ones that, they, in fact, they, they can borrow for Africa. But when, it, when it's time to, to borrow you, their number is always switch off. If it's not switch off, it's unreachable. I don't know the way this will be, but it will be reachable to you until they need something before they will call you and they will switch to, eh, they will switch to talking to give you their everything. If I give them your soul, their spirit, and body. All those people be well with them. So this one we have the YouTube family. You know all these people that subscribe to your channel, all these people that go hard for you. They're your YouTube family. They're your friends. You know how much it is to watch a video on YouTube. You know how much envy that is. So sometimes I look at people that do this thing and I'm like, are you guys really doing a lot? Because it's actually so much for people to just boom be watching your YouTube channel and you know. You're not even, and it's you that they are paying. YouTube is paying you. YouTube is not paying them. So all these kind of things, you need to put it to consideration. Be keeping them very close to heart. YouTube family, they're the ones watching you. They're the ones helping your YouTube to grow. It's like you putting seed of orange inside the ground, and you're pouring water, pouring water, pouring water. So me, I'm putting my YouTube on the ground, and I'm putting cotton, putting cotton, putting cotton, putting cotton, putting cotton, and it's growing. And people that are growing it for you are people that are watching it, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the stars are the what YouTube family. Do I make sense? Yes. So this is what YouTube family. So to keep them, keep them with you, okay? Those people that are your loved ones, make them feel that. To make them feel you know loved put them in the loop let them feel very welcome do you understand make your youtube family feel very special so i'm about to throw a special shout out to all my youtube family all my 250 something subscribers it's not easy even the ghost ones the ones that they just subscribe and disappeared i like you i love you all so much with all my rats i mean my hearts thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you for being here for me you guys are everything do you understand like yeah yeah everything you're wonderful anyways if you haven't seen my <laughs> name tag and the thing i do it's here right here yeah, on the link right now you can click on it after this and you know watch it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can click on the link here as well to subscribe to my youtube channel whichever way i think it's here or here but it's somewhere here Asha. so yes and last but not the least is the chop chop family those ones that only come to your house to chop I don't want to mention this, but you know you're safe. The only ones that will call you to ask you for some sleep noodles. Those ones, ah, they are the love of my life. They don't call me, they don't text me. They don't text me when they're hungry. But me and Mother Teresa, I feed the Onesia. Because I have all the food here. They are, they, they, for real, that's what they do. The only time they reach out to you is when they want to eat. Like when they are hungry, they are like, where is the food? Where is the food? Where is the food? That's the only time they will not tell you how much they've missed you. And in the process of eating, they're like, hmm, I've missed you so much. Mm. They are eating the food. They don't even remember what they are saying. If you ask them tomorrow, what did you say? I'm very sure they even remember that they came to your house. I mean, everything is all fun and games, right? It's just jokes. It's just bands. So these kind of families, I want to ask you, which of the category do you fall into? Which of the categories of family do you fall into? Is it the gossip family? Is it the YouTube family? Is it the support family? Is it the one related by blood? Is it the gang family? 
Is it the Chop Life family? Is it the Boropo's family? Which one do you belong to? Well, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. If you liked this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, view, whatever you have to do to just increase that view, increase the subscribers. I wouldn't mind. Please, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Like I said, if you want to see an episode or you want to see a particular topic, you can always hit me up and I'll be here to research and answer all your questions, you know? I'm literally here to serve you. I'm here to give you tips on what to, what not to do. And you know, sometimes it's just fun and games. Like what I've just done is fun and games. And I'm actually relating it to you. Like in real life, these kind of people, you need to be aware of them. You need to understand them so that you don't drain your energy. And if you can keep such family, then why not? I mean, if you can, why not? I can keep basically all of them. I mean, just have a section for all these kind of people and you're good to go anyways guys i've come to the end of this episode and i hope you guys enjoyed yourself i hope you guys liked it don't forget like i said to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you haven't seen my name tag video it's right here and if you want to subscribe you can click here any of the links over here i don't know i can't really see them but it's somewhere here shall so to like come your way don't forget to be a boss as bitch and for my guys you know you guys are working hard to make ends meet i support you i love you all to like come your way next week bye